Hello everyone, Pixeled Monk here, and welcome to an old school RuneScape guide showing you how to complete the quest of Soul's Bane. This quest is considered novice difficulty and is medium length, about 25 minutes long. The requirements for this quest include the ability to defeat many level 45 and plus enemies. The required items for this quest include a rope, weapon, range is preferred, however anything works. Although not required, it is highly recommended that you also have an anti-poison or super anti-poison, food, and armor. There is a map in the description below that will help you to identify some of the key points of this quest. Open it up to keep it handy. Before we start the quest, let's talk about some key tips to help you out. Whenever a cutscene occurs during this quest, do not click anywhere on your screen. Only use the spacebar to continue the conversations. If you do click, you'll be teleported out and forced to watch the cutscene all over again. Also, do not drop any items during this quest, or else they'll be lost forever. Finally, if you die, you will lose all of your items, so only bring gear and items that you are willing to lose. You start the quest by talking to Lana, who is located northwest of the dig site. The easiest way to get there is simply walking from Varrock. You'll notice that Lana is standing next to a giant red and black hole in the ground. Once there, talk to Lana. When prompted, say, Would you like me to go down to look for your husband and son? After talking with her, use your rope on the hole, otherwise known as the rift, and climb down. Once you climb down the ladder, you'll enter the rage room. In order to complete this room, you must fill up your rage level bar, which is at the top of your screen. To do so, you must kill some of the monsters that are in the room. However, you can only do this by using a specific weapon for each monster that is located on the weapons rack near the entrance. Left click on the weapons rack to choose your weapon. You can only use the sword to defeat the angry unicorns, the spear to defeat the angry bears, the mace to defeat the angry rats, and the battle axe to defeat the angry goblins. Pick your weapon of choice, equip it, and kill the corresponding enemy. As you do so, your rage level will fill up. If you need to switch weapons, you may do so at the rack. After your rage is all the way up, a cutscene will occur. Afterwards, exit using the eastern path. The next section is the fear room. Here you'll have several dark holes which you can look inside that surround the room. As you search these holes, a Fear Reaper may appear out of the hole and attack you. You'll need to continue searching these dark holes until you kill about 5 or 6 Fear Reapers. Going around the room in circles tends to work best. However, this may take several minutes as the Fear Reapers seldomly appear. Once your character states, I don't feel so scared now, this feels like the figment of someone's imagination, and after a cutscene, you may exit the room using the lit up door on the western side. Another cutscene will occur and this time you will be in the confusion room. In this room you must kill confusion beasts, however only one of them is real, the rest are illusions. The easiest way to determine which beast is real is by simply attacking each beast one by one. You won't deal any damage to the imaginary beasts, however, if you continue to attack it, it will eventually disappear, giving you better chances on attacking the real one next. It is preferred that you are using range or magic for this room, however melee will work just fine, but there is a chance that the beast will poison you. Once you kill the real beast, one of the doors in the center of the room will disappear and the whole process will start again. Keep going until one door remains. After the cutscene, enter the only door left. This is the Hopelessness Room. Here there are five hopeless creatures. You must kill each creature three times in order to completely defeat it. Once all the creatures are dead, a bridge of hope will appear. Go across it and go through the exit. After another cutscene, you'll get to fight the three-headed beast Tolna. All three heads can attack you at once and has the ability to poison you, however this monster is pretty easy to defeat. Once it's dead, 
talk to Tolna, who will teleport you back to the surface. Talk to Tolna one last time to complete the quest. Congratulations, you have received one quest point, 500 defense experience, 500 hit points experience, 500 gold coins, and access to Dungeon Tolna. Thank you so much for watching, I hope that you enjoyed this guide and found it helpful. If you did, please subscribe for more, and I'll see you next time.